Hello, I'm Sean Kenaricki. And I'm Sam Strebinger, and this is your weekly newscast for Friday, September 6th. The auditions are over, and the cast list is out for the fall play, These Shining Lives. However, if you are interested in any crew or background parts in the production, contact Miss Beeson for more information. Last Friday, the Mishawaka Marching Band performed their great halftime show, Day Tripper by the Beatles. Next Friday on the 13th will be the next home game where they will unveil another classic by the Beatles, Eleanor Rigby. Jazz band signups and auditions are almost here. The band consists of saxophones, trumpets, trombones, and more. They're mostly in need of a guitarist and a pianist. Come by room 110 by the cafeteria or email Mr. Chamberlain for more information. Quiz Bowl is starting soon. Quiz Bowl is a competition of trivia questions in different categories of academics like math, literature, and history, and several other academic categories. If you want to join our team, contact Ms. Whistler or one of our members, Dakota Shannon. Another academic team you can join is Spell Bowl. It is currently going on, and they only have a few members. If you want to join, you can email Mr. Farrow. Mishawaka offers a robotics team. There are two teams, FTC, First Tech Challenge, and FRC, First Robotics Challenge. And the robotics team is the Giddy Goats. Go to room 131 to get information to sign up or email Ms. Fissette. Here is your Cayman Sports news for the week. Tuesday, the boys and girls cross country team competed in the NLC round robin meet at Oxbow Park against Goshen High School. The boys place eighth while the girls play seventh. The team doesn't run this weekend, but they run next Saturday at the Minutemen Invite. Last Friday, the Cavemen faced off against the Penn Kingsmen for 2024's Backyard Brawl. During the first quarter, quarterback Landis Snyder threw a touchdown to senior Josh Sandy for the game's first points. During the following quarter, the Cavemen scored two touchdowns, one a 64-yard run by sophomore Landis Snyder. The other Cavemen score of the second quarter was on a 15-yard sweep by Brady Newsom. The Kingsmen also scored on a one-yard rush. During the third quarter, Landis Snyder tossed another touchdown to senior Josh Sandy for 24 yards. The fourth quarter was scoreless, bringing the game's final score to 27-7. Cavemen win. Well, it's, it's an incredible honor. Um, it's something I, I really appreciate uh, just being nominated um, by the coaches in our area and then uh, to be selected. Uh, I, I know a lot of work goes into that by Mr. Condry, um, but really it, it's an honor. Uh, it's a program award, and that's what I've been telling our players is uh, the recognition is great uh, for our kids to see that hard work does pay off. Well, again, I think it's, it's exciting that I'm going to have an opportunity to represent this great community and this great school. Mishawaka is a special place. Uh, our football program is loved in our community. And just for our community to kind of see that they're, they're going to get recognition at the NFL level, I think is really neat for, for the people in our community. Today, the Mishawaka football team travels to Concord to take on the Minutemen in their first NLC game. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and the student section theme is Hawaiian. Best of luck, cavemen. The baseball workout started on Tuesday after school. The workout schedule is for seven weeks. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the open field workouts at Baker Park, and Mondays and Thursdays will be lifting days with Coach Surgeon. If you have any questions about the workouts, please contact Mr. Hemmer by email. Last week, the girls' soccer team played against Lalamere. Reese Bruce scored three goals. Jenna Belting and Millie Mamalenti scored two, finishing out the game with a score of 9-0. Two weeks ago, they played against Concord, losing 5-3. The team also played against Tuesday Laville with a final score of also 5-3. On Tuesday, the Cavemen went face-to-face -face with the Warsaw Tigers in volleyball. The Cavemen lost the first set with a score of 25-17, and the second with a score of 25-15. The Cavemen continued to fight through the third set, but unfortunately fell to the Tigers with a score of 28-26. This game brings the team to a record of 8-1 overall. The MHS bowling team starts practice next Tuesday. Practice is every Tuesday and Thursday after school from 4 to 5.30 at Parkway Lanes in Mishawaka. There is a varsity team, a girls team, and a JV team. If you would like to join or if you have any questions, please contact Bill Toops by email. Thanks for watching, Caveman. And shout out to Captain Chamberlain and Mrs. Yoder.